The Tata Iti, New Zealand's fairy tern, is one of the rarest coastal birds in the world. Since the 70s, this species has been teetering on the edge, with fewer than 40 adult Tata Iti left and less than 10 breeding pairs. They're found on only four North Island beaches, Pākari, Mangawhai, Waipu and South Kaipara Head. The New Zealand fairy tern nest on low-lying shell and sandbanks. This leaves their nests and their offspring at the mercy of storms, high tides, their eggs at the risk of predation or accidental destruction by vehicles in the dunes, off-leash dogs and humans. When breeding, Tata Iti cuckles like their space, so their nests are often kilometres from another of their species. This means they need a lot of habitat to support a population. And this habitat is threatened and disturbed by encroaching coastal developments all around the North Island. However, there are also passionate volunteers, families and conservation organisations working to retain, protect and restore this species here in New Zealand. There are many problems! problems. Tara Iti nest in highly camouflaged nest scrapes on just five Auckland beaches and it's usually above the spring tide line. Solutions. Solutions! Everyone visiting those beaches needs to look out for signs letting you know that fairy turns are in the area. Then pay attention. Don't drive on the beach. The chances that you'll see a nest before destroying it are pretty much nil. If you're walking on the beach, obey the signs warning you away from nesting sites. It's easy to disturb nesting turns without realising it. Problems! Like many New Zealand birds, Tata Iti are predated by introduced mammals. Rats, dogs, cats, hedgehogs, weasels, ferrets and stoats will all prey on eggs, chicks and adults. Solutions! Make sure your family is involved in predator control, especially if you live near fairy turn beaches. Even if you don't live near Tata Iti, you'll be helping our other New Zealand natives. Keep your cat inside, especially at night. Keep your dog on a leash at the beach and on the dunes. Don't ride horses in possible breeding sites. Problems! People's activities on beaches and in foraging sites like estuaries disturb Tara Iti during the breeding season from October through to February. Solutions! Solutions. Spend time on other beaches. Or if you're at a fairy turn or Tara Iti beach, keep well away from the fenced off areas. Don't be tempted to cross the fence. Problems! Modification of habitat, including foraging spaces, breeding spaces, and roosting habitat, reduces the ability of the bird to eat, breed, and sleep. Solutions. Solutions. Leave mangroves and estuaries. Make sure your family isn't contributing to loss of habitat. Tell your friends and family about Tata Iti, and support the organizations that are trying to look after fairy terns. Problems. Stormy weather and extra high tides can wash away the nests and reduce foraging ability of the adults. So how can we help the Tata Iti? Solutions! I guess we all have to do our best to reduce our carbon emissions to mitigate climate change. So which organisations are helping to protect the species? Organisations such as New Zealand Forest and Bird and the Fairy Turn Charitable Trust, the TRI Shorebirds Trust, the Department of Conservation, the Auckland Zoo, Ornithological Society of New Zealand and Endangered Species New Zealand, among many others in the networks of volunteers, iwi, local schools and communities. If we all work together, we can let these fairies at the beach live in peace, multiply, using innovation, collective teamwork, imagination, and a whole lot of kindness. If we go to the beach on a beautiful day, always gotta keep our dogs away from the fairy dogs and the fairy nestlings. If we surf in the waves on a beautiful day, maybe we might just catch a glimpse. See you in my mind.